when I talk about peer learning, for me, my definition is um, using my own experience as a point of departure and, and using myself as an example, but also introducing them to peers within the field. I mean, this idea of commercial photographers. I've always said this, that um, the photo program can serve everyone's needs. I mean, it's a one person, I am the photo concentration. It's a one person department. So being kind of all things to all people. So if you want to pursue fashion photography or commercial photography or fine art gallery museum, you can go any one direction. And so those conferences, finding a conference that kind of suits the needs of the program um, is also kind of a, a trick. Those conferences serve an incredible purpose. Usually the students, um, like in Portland, for example, they wrote a proposal and their proposal was accepted and they did a panel. And so once their panel's accepted, then we go through all this rehearsing and um, trying to figure out how to fine tune their presentation. So they have to meet outside of class. This is one of those out, outside of classroom experiences where they have to be self-reliant. And it's not about me or satisfying a grade. It's about them designing and building a panel presentation that they're presenting at a, at, a, at a regional conference. I think I give lots of reinforcement and I have said this before, I don't know if that I teach everything I know in the first 10 minutes and I just repeat myself. So they kind of drift listening to me and it's like your parents. But when you hear it from an outside agency other than the institution, you know, these are from strangers essentially. So they get this positive feedback from professionals from within the field. And so they just lit up. Um, he's always really been uh, supportive of us going to SBE and we went to the regional conference in Spokane and he really helped us with that and helped us uh, look at our portfolios and make business cards and websites and all that. and. Um, has really wanted us to get together and sort of um, get some of the younger kids into going next year. The regional conference sparked them having interest in going to the, to the national. And that was just, I mean, we're still um, kind of tallying the results of that, the benefits. They were so incredible in terms of their performance and preparation and the fundraising. They single-handedly raised all the money for that conference. No one gave them any handouts. And so I was able to generate revenue through vendors and through university, but they really pounded the pavement and, and made a lot of money to go to that conference. I think 12 of them went and they paid for transportation, registration, and room and board at a national conference. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but as an undergraduate, no one ever offered me, you know, entrance into a graduate program based on a portfolio. So they really really reap the benefits of the national conference. They didn't, they didn't present there, but they did participate in the portfolio reviews. And a lot of people don't even know what a portfolio review is, but essentially we got together as a group and we all made small portfolios that was like a sampling of their work. And then they were able to present it um, at formal portfolio reviews where you have professionals from everyone from Calumet, Kodak, Fuji, to in universities, Rochester, every major research university in, in the United States reviewing portfolios. I mean, I think the participation in those regional and national conferences are, they're, they're just, it's incredible.